this video with fixes for AutoCAD printing problems that was released a couple of years ago had thousands of views. So I decided to create a new version for 2021 with my ranking of the most common AutoCAD printing problems. All right, first of all, I want to say thank you to my new patron, and I said I'm going to do something um, special. So I want to personally say thank you to Ismael Paolo, who became my first um, supporter here in uh, YouTube as a YouTube member. Thank you, Paolo. All right. So I'm going to start with this drawing over here. Uh, so we have a, an existing uh, building elevation. And the third most common printing problem in AutoCAD 2021 is the issue with a print preview. So for instance, some people will try to do a print preview using the DRE shortcut for preview here in model space. So when they do that, you'll see that nothing will happen because print preview is not meant to work from model space. So now that we know that, and if people go to paper space in this case, or layout, and we try the print preview again, using its shortcut PRE, you can see that again, it doesn't work. And we got this message. So the message is preview not plotter is assigned. Use page setup to assign a plotter to the current layout. So what AutoCAD is telling us is that the user or we didn't set up settings for this uh, paper space or layout um, to work. So in order to do that, we need to right click on this layout and pick page setup manager. So once we do that, you can see that the plot sizes and all of the other settings are not set properly. So let's click modify in order to fix this. And let's start with the plotter name here since i'm going to create a pdf i like to use dwg to pdf so now for the paper size i know my sheet needs to be printed at 24 by 36 so that's the size that i'm going to pick 24 by 36 then here i like to pick the extends option with the center the plot checked so once I do that, the scale always needs to be one to one to print or PDF this to the right scale, scale line weights always. And here I'm gonna pick my plot style, which is ATA full. And then once I have all of those ready, I can do a preview. And as you can see, it's looking nicely. So I'm gonna hit escape and simply click okay. Once I close that, and you can see that now that I do a print preview using the PRE shortcut, you can see that it's showing nicely. All right, let's go with the second most common printing problem in AutoCAD. And this is the issue with um, the hidden lines not showing either in model space or paper space. So for instance, here in this drawing, you can see that this hidden line for the entrance door is showing a solid. So and if we go to model space, you'll also see that this hidden line it's not showing correctly. Now, 
if you zoom in really, really close, sometimes you might see that the hidden lines are showing there, but in this case, that's not the, oh, oops, right here. So you can see that it's showing there, but only if you zoom in really, really far. So the problem here is that there are some system variables that you need to apply either in model space or in paper space. So the first one is, so let me, oh, let me select this and go to the property palette. So first let's see that the line tape line type scale is set to one, which is correct and is hidden. So let's change the first system variable, which is LT scale and press enter. And this controls um, the scale for your line types. So in order to know the correct scale, let's go here on the layout two that we wanted to fix and let's check the viewport and it's at one quarter so one quarter is the scale of this viewport so now that we know that let's change the lt scale and the the scale factor we can get it by simply using the calc or calculator uh, as the following and pressing enter and then since we know it's at one quarter we can put that as four over one and then we can multiply that by 12 so instead of doing one quarter we do four over one which is the opposite of one quarter and then once we press enter we will get the line type scale factor of 48 that's based on the viewport scale and you can see now that the uh, hidden line is showing correctly now now you can go to paper space again and you'll see that it's showing nicely this time however sometimes sometimes happen that you will need an extra system variable so the extra, the other system variable that you can try is if this LT scale doesn't work for you, is the MS LT scale. MS is for model space. So if you set that to either zero or one, in this case, I'm gonna set it to zero, and then do the regenerate command or regenerate all, you can see that it's showing nicely. So let me try it again. MSLT scale. One. Regenerate. And you can try that. Now, if it's not working here in paper, paper space, you can try this other system variable, which is PSLT scale. And right now it's set to zero, but if you set it to one, and then do a regenerate, you can see that now your hidden lines are not showing correctly in paper space. So let's 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 undo that. Control C, Control C. And again, here it is in paper space, showing nicely. Finally, the most one of the most common printing problems in AutoCAD is the paper space not showing at 0, 0, origin point in your paper space. So if we go here on this other layout, you can see that the layout is showing this black window, not um, showing correctly of course so this is a big problem that is very very common and let's first inspect the paper space right so let's go here and right click and pick page setup manager so once we do that we can see that everything is set correctly let me see let me click modify here 
and you can see that the page setup is is um is set correctly 24 by 36 extends center the plot one to one everything looks nice and if you do a preview you can see that it also looks very nice however if we cancel that there is a problem here now you can tell also if you draw a line a single line at zero comma zero origin point and then till here you can see that this is the zero comma zero origin point so let me fix that let me select everything and using the regular move command i'm gonna put it over here so now that i know that my objects in paper space are at zero comma zero origin point and we need to fix this other one so the way to fix this is we're going to do a control a select everything here so the shortcut is control eight and once we do that we have 98 objects selected so now we're going to hold the control on your keyboard and we're going to deselect this sorry the shift so once we do holding the shift we can deselect all of these objects and then sorry let's do it let's try it again control a to select everything shift to deselect so once we holding shift do a selection we're deselecting our objects however we can see that there are some weird objects over here i don't know if you see them and there are mtex and there are 89 of these objects and that is what is causing the issue of the paper space not be at zero comma zero so once we have those objects selected we can simply use the delete um, key and delete them so now once we go and right click on the page setup manager click modify let's do a print preview oops uh, let's try this check and check oops let's close that so <laughs> you saw now that it, it moved to the side all right so let's let's try one more time so page setup manager modify let's change it to layout in this case and do a print preview nothing is showing let's go out let's go back to extent center the plot and do a preview it's showing correctly finally <laughs> and then let's click ok and close as you can see the problem with your autocad paper space not being at zero comma zero is now working nicely however it was a very um hard problem to solve even for myself in autocad so so these are the these are my ranking for the autocad 2021 printing problems i'm your friend irvin from the lazy architecto all right hope i see you next week with a new tutorial